Robbo, we loved it so much, we brought it back. More quick hits. A late, late, late Joe Pedro goal helps Brighton get past uh, Manchester United 2-1. Robbo, I may be in the minority. I thought United played okay mm-hmm. and played a hefty price for individual mistakes against a good fo- footballing side away. Am I wrong and deluded? No. Because Related to Eric Ten Hag, perhaps? No, No, because no. they, uh, at times, had more of the play. They dominated the play. They created some good chances. And I presume as you're talking about individual mistakes and missed chances that they right. had. Okay, so Maguire on the first one. Yeah. The collective brain fart on the second half. Oh, so... John, the, yeah, John the, Pedro yeah. makes himself... But these aren't systemic things. These are individual mistakes that are so extreme. Yeah. And then the Zerks, they disallow goal. I don't know... I don't even know if it was accidental or if it would have been that easy for him to get out of the way. He, he'd slid, he, he was sliding in, so and he'd already slid before the because he'd gone for the first one. So I, I think it's, I, I, th- I think he's, he's unlucky. He's unlucky. Exactly. That's right. un, that one, one was unlucky. Okay. Diallo had a good chance, which he should have scored much earlier. So uh, you put these things together. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was disorganized. There was disorganization for the the second goal where they defend the first ball. And as so often happens, then they don't get the. But shape. that's not a system thing, is what I'm driving. No, at. that's not a system thing. That's but it, but it also it's something that you, that coaches don't work enough on. You defend that. You you set yourself up for the defender set play or a ball into the box. You clear that, and then what do you do as the ball goes out and it's going to come back into your box? And that's where they got their shape all wrong. They were overloaded to one side, and it left Jao Pedro free on the far post. So there was mistakes that were had. But I didn't think they played that badly, as you quite rightly said. And Kevin. look, and, and this is with Mount unfit, with Rashford. Mm. I don't know who that is. That's not. I don't think that is Marcus mm. Rashford. I think it's somebody impersonating him on the wing. No Hoyland. I mean, mm. yeah. Right. I think they're they're an okay team at the moment. Madueke manages to insult the city of Wolverhampton before scoring a hat trick against Wolves as Chelsea break out in the second half and win six two. Gab, your thoughts on that? You might say he added injury to insult. Mm. See, see, see what I did there? No, he, this poor guy, he wrote something disparaging about the city of Wolverhampton on Instagram. He thought, I guess he was messaging somebody privately yeah, in yeah, a yeah. private group and said he put it publicly. So he got booed. <clears throat> and then in the second half, he scores a hat trick. It was 2-2 at halftime. Chelsea wins 6-2. Mm. Um, more broadly on Chelsea than Ned mm. it is a... Amazing what happens when you go back to a system that makes sense mm. for the type of football you want to say, right? Mm. Two up and down wingers running up mm. and down in Madwek and Mudrik. Mudrik was fine, was terrible, as he often is in the first half. And then you bring in Neto, does the same thing mm. up and down. Boom, that works. Put Cole Palmer attacking midfield mm. where he belongs. Uh, put Enzo back with the two. Mm. Or Lavia out. And all of a sudden, this is a more rational team. And they win. And they win convincingly. I just want to see Nico Jackson stop being stupid and winding up the opposition. No, honestly, <laughs> he's going to pay a big price. They don't have other... Unless you want to see more Mark Yu, yeah, which I don't yeah. think many people no, do. No. Um, he needs to avoid suspensions and just be smart. Mm. He's playing better. Yeah, absolutely. Robo Jaden Sancho is unwanted at United. Raheem Sterling unwanted at Chelsea. Amortization is magical and can generate funds out of nothing. Uh, would a swap actually make sense if you could make the numbers work? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> I don't think that Raheem Sterling uh, it would do too much at Manchester United. I don't think he's the sort of player they'd be looking for. Sancho, likewise, I think he, he needs to go I mean, abroad again. Sterling at United would contrib- contribute more than Sancho does since Sancho yeah. never plays. Would Sancho can contribute more at Chelsea? Well, I'm like, you should have thought about this before mm. you signed Pedro Neto and mm. Joao Felix, maybe, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it, it might have been a good thing at the start of the season with a, f- a fresh outlook for Sancho going to, to Chelsea, but I think the only way that Sancho get, gets his career back on track is by going abroad at the moment because it's going nowhere. You know what's silly? If you slap 60 million valuations yeah. on both of them and you swap them, uh, you generate PSR money out of, out of thin air, at least for a season. Mm, okay. Barcelona are still without six senior players, plus Danny Olmo, who was, can't register just yet, and they've lost Gundogan to Manchester City. So were you impressed that they won 2-1 at the weekend against Athletic Club? Right, just to give you some context here, in addition to all the guys who are out from Gavi to, 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 mm-hmm. to De Jong to Araujo, um, Fermin, who's 21 years old, mm-hmm. has one top flight season under his bench. Yep. He was the second most experienced player on the Barcelona In terms of bench. games or, or, or uh, Just age. experience, no, yeah. whatever, whatever you want to call it, if you exclude the, the, the goalkeepers, right? Mm. Um, the most experienced was Eric Garcia, who of course is Eric Garcia, and therefore not very good. Um, and they had three 17-year-olds starting. Mm. 
Um, I thought they played really well in the second half. Mm. It, I think it's encouraging. They're buying into what mm. Hansi Flick wants mm. them to do. I think Lewandowski looks sharp. Now, I don't mm. know how long it's going to last with Lewandowski. But I do wonder, can you imagine if they hadn't played silly buggers with the levers and spending all their mm. money and said, maybe put a bit more faith in the kids? Well, I saw on. them against Valencia. I went to Valencia last week and I thought they played very well, particularly again in the second half where they they play more forward-thinking football. They're sharper with Are their you, And you're a Mark Bernal guy now. Mm, yeah, he, he did okay. Yeah, he's, he's, I think he's still got a bit of work to do, but he's a, he's a decent player. I, I, I think... I think they're in a good place. I don't know how big the squad is. I don't know how it's going to last. Who knows if Olmo's going to even stay fit mm. and you go through this trouble to mm. register him and then you know, with his injury record. And give I, a bit of credit to Rafinha. You know, everyone's saying he's going to go on his way. He's going to be going here. Every time I've seen him play over the last year or so, he's been effective yeah, for Barcelona. He has. Manchester City go a goal down at home against Ipswich, but then score three inside of 15 minutes and route to a 4-1 win. As Erling Haaland bags a hat trick, they also hit the woodwork a couple times. Mm. Same old, same old. Yes, in terms of, uh, but what I was pleased with about Haaland, I've been very critical of Haaland over the last few weeks and, and months where I don't think he gets involved in the play. I'd, I'd see him just being a goal poacher. At the weekend, he looked like the old Haaland where he was making runs, he was done it. The goal where he runs, makes the run through the two centre-halves, heads it past the goalkeeper and puts it in the back of that. That's what I want to see more from Haaland. So same old, same old, but uh, good performance. Yeah, is that the, uh, the fourth goal was also, yeah. was also good for yeah. him. Um, it's it's crazy. In August, I think he's got like twenty seven yeah. goals and eighteen games in his career. For but I want to see him enjoy his football, get more involved, and do the things that we know he can do. And then he be he would be, you know, the world class striker. That I think he is, man. You've got the Brian and Bernardo Silva there. Do you want this but, big lumpy Norwegian coming back and getting in your? Grill? I didn't say get him coming back. Making those runs down the side, making more runs, getting getting hold of the ball when it's played up to him by the goalkeeper. Anyway, forget that. The Vincent Company era began at Bayern with a nervy 3-2 win away to Wolfsburg. A bit messy, wasn't it? Yeah, so the, the first half, I thought they looked they looked really good. Yeah. Uh, Sasha Boy, or Boy, or whichever you mm -hmm. choose to pronounce his name this week. Uh, you know, he looks like Danny Alves down mm -hmm. the right. It's fantastic. They take mm -hmm. the lead. And then Boy gives up a stupid, a stupid penalty in the second half. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they're pinned back. Um, and they actually... It looks like the wheels are totally coming off. And they got to need Thomas Muller to come off the bench. He created uh, the, the, this is the second goal mm. without touching the ball, just by wreaking havoc, just by being there, forcing the own goal. Uh, then, of course, they got the, the late winner for Serge Gnabry. There is work to do. Mm -hmm. Good news is, I think, um, I think they're on the right way. But Harry Kane fit? Fitter. Harry Kane was involved in all three goals. Good. He doesn't look super sharp. The finishing should have been mm -hmm. better in the first half. But, I mean... Give him time. Um, Tottenham uh, romped to a 4 0 win at home to Everton as Eve Bissouma scores a great goal. Robo, do you like them more with Son at center forward or Solanke, of course, was unavailable uh, to lead the line, but presumably will be back? Uh, I like Son up front because. Really? Because I'm not, I, I'm never been a Solanke fan, unfortunately. Uh, you he, don't like big, tall, skillful strikers who uh, score oh, lots like of goals? I like big, tall, uh, skillful striker that scores, but he hasn't done enough of it over the years. And he had one good season last year. He scored a ton of goals in the championship too. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. No, I don't think he's going to be a, a major success for Spurs. Uh, and Son is a proven quality striker I, who can make runs in behind and score goals. He's a good finisher. So I was I looking at this. First. They have so many wingers and mm. so many attacking mm. options because obviously there's Brendan mm. Johnson, there's Otterberg who started it mm. really well. Kulusevski. Timo Werner still there, Kulusevski. Yeah. I, I'm just wondering if he's leaving himself that plan B of mm. Sonny through Richarlison, of yeah. Sonny through the middle, just in case the the, the, the great Solanke experiment yeah. doesn't, uh, doesn't quite work Which out. Which it might well not do. Now, Mil Milan slip up badly as they lose away to Parma 2-1. Gab, Paolo Fonseca says their defensive attitude is hard to explain. Yeah, so Fonseca already under fire after the draw opening mm. week. Um, what does he mean by defensive? So what he's talking about is, if you watch the highlights of this game, mm. they give up two goals on the counter that are pretty much identical, right? Yeah. Milan are attacking, they're trying to be positive. It's almost a three versus one at one point and a two versus well, one. And then there's a counterattack and they struggle to get back. I thought Theo Hernandez was, was at fault for, mm. for both of them, as was mm. Musa. But 
there's a switch of play, and it's almost like carbon copy goal, the guy coming in through the left-hand mm. side to, to score. Dennis Mann. Uh, mm. the man. There you go. Um, I, I, I think this is problematic, but I think it's because, and you know this better than I do, you have to be able, if you're attacking and you lose the ball, you have to be able to stop the counter straight away, whether it's a yeah. foul or, mm. or counter pressing. You can't just blame it all on the defenders. Mm. And I think this is what he means by defensive attitude. But, dude, don't say it's hard to understand. you got to fix it. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely.